I got really lucky and I found a great open box deal on the S2721DGF from Dell, which is actually the direct successor of my current monitor, the S2719DGF from Dell. Today's video, I just wanted to go over the differences between the two, my personal opinion on why I made the upgrade, and how I feel about the changes between those two monitors since I've been using the new one for the last five or six days. So first, let's talk about the major differences between the two. The new monitor, the 2721, is an IPS panel, which means that it's got some great colors. It's got much better viewing angles. The refresh rate is actually a little bit higher as well at 165 compared to the 155. It does add HDR support, but it's only HDR 400 and that peak brightness isn't very good either. So it's not a really good true HDR experience, but it does add a little bit of extra brightness to the monitor. Another awesome upgrade on the new monitor is the fact that both HDMI ports are 2.0 compared to the old monitor where one of them was HDMI 1.4 and, and only one of them was HDMI 2.0. So this really helps with high refresh gaming because HDMI 1.4 did not support 1440p at 144 hertz. So that one was really just left to consoles and anything that was slow at the time, but now everything has higher refresh rates. So that HDMI 1.4 port is pretty outdated at this point. In terms of the design, they're actually very similar. Um, they have the same quick release mount for the included stand. The From the front, they look extremely similar. The only difference between the two is the newer monitor has gone back to the silver Dell logo instead of the blue gamery logo that Dell went with on the uh, 2719. The new monitor also has some blue LEDs on the back. They're not very bright. They don't really do too much, but they did you know, up the design on the back a little bit to make it look a little bit nicer. So in case the back of your monitor is outward facing into your room, it doesn't look as plain, I guess. And the stands between the two, as I mentioned, the quick release is the exact same and the quick mounting, the stands are a little bit different in terms of the footprint and the design. The newer stand is larger than the old one and in terms of width and a little bit in height, it's a little bit bulkier and not as minimal as the old one, but they both work the same. I never really used the original monitor. I, I put it immediately onto a monitor arm. The new monitor also has DisplayPort 1.4 compared to 1.2, but that doesn't really translate to any major benefits because the difference between those two is really the higher refresh rate up to 240 hertz. That doesn't really apply here, but it is a nice to have. So let's go over what I really enjoy about the new monitor. And right out of the gate, the color is fantastic. I personally feel like the color on the 2721 is much better in terms of contrast. It doesn't look washed out sometimes, whereas the 2719 would sometimes seem a little bit washed out. And now that I have them side by side, it is very apparent. One of the reasons that I decided to upgrade to the 2721 was because I'm doing a lot of editing and editing all these videos and I would prefer to have something that's a little bit more color accurate. Now I don't have a color spectrometer to properly calibrate my display, but I used a bunch of different resources, people's personal settings, kind of looking at things and comparing them. Um, the nice thing is you can actually use your phone to kind of compare colors because a lot of phones have very accurate displays and I use that to help calibrate the display and I'm happy to say that things just look much better on the new display. Now that's not to say that the 2719 is a bad monitor at all. It was also incredible to me when I upgraded to it and I really, really am happy with it. It's a great monitor for its price if you can find it used definitely check it out if it's a good price compare it to the s2721 and basically look at those prices and see if it's worth it for you to get that ips panel and the 2721 is without its flaws the contrast although better than the 2719 isn't a great um contrast for an ips monitor and it could be better 
a lot of people do complain about the accuracy out of the box mine wasn't too bad i had to do a few adjustments but it was very quick to get it up to speed and i actually used the icc profile from uh, ratings.com to help with the calibration process i also got very lucky with the black uniformity on my display and it looks really really good i'm pretty happy with it and the nice thing is when going between my s2721 and my laptop now that they're both ips displays the colors are much more similar uh, i was running into an issue when i was editing um, sometimes i would edit on the laptop sometimes i would edit on my desktop and the colors between them would be quite different and it was really hard to tell which one was the right color which one wasn't now one personal downside that the new monitor has compared to the old is that the controls are on the back of the panel instead of the bottom now this may not be a problem for everybody but it's a problem for me because i have my monitors in a triple wide display so and this gaming monitor is in the middle so i have to reach around and kind of fiddle between monitors i can't just reach around the side and easily get to those controls I liked having the controls on the bottom of the original monitor, the 2719, but the 2721 does have a uh, nipple instead of just all buttons, which is a nice upgrade. I just wish that they were all on the bottom. So overall, I am super happy with the new monitor. I am still happy with my original purchase of the 2719, but I decided I needed to upgrade for media creation purposes and the extra added benefits of the colors and everything do help with my gaming as well which is nice and that's it do you have either of these monitors are you happy with the monitor did you ever upgrade from a tn to an ips panel let me know in the comment section down below and i'd love to hear your opinions but thanks again for watching if you liked the video and you found it helpful i'd really appreciate it if you like subscribed if you have any questions comments or feedback feel free to leave those down in the comment section below and i try to get to them all as quickly as possible feel free to check me out on twitch i'll leave the link in the description below you can come check me out say hello and ask any questions there if you'd like thanks again for watching the end of the video thank you to my patron sponsor step back as always stay safe out there and i'll see you next friday